So some of you might have been there last week and last Sunday when I did a stream reviewing a video from the YouTuber Colonel Kurtz. Uh, oh my God, here I'm saying Colonel again. I forget the L in the English language sometimes is an R. So Colonel, Colonel Kurtz. Anyways, we were reviewing this video with a critical eye because, you know, I feel like the video was kind of propaganda. You know, that was my criticism throughout like the entire stream. And I, I had several criticisms throughout, you know, of course, it's, it's no secret. When I do these weekend streams, I tend to go for a long time. That particular stream was like almost nine hours, right? Uh, who knows how long this one will be, but if I feel it's like good for re-uploading, I will re-upload to my channel. And I've been working, I've been editing that one. It's just like, obviously it's like a lot because you know, we get sidetracked, we talk to chat, we do this and that. I'm editing up that video to go on this channel. So don't worry. I guess Colonel Kurtz got word that I did the stream. Well, let's just review the tweet here real quick. So Colonel tweets, <laughs> Colonel tweets. <laughs> I'm gonna say Colonel Kurtz. So Colonel Qu I can't say. So Colonel Kurtz tweeted out, so who is this Edwin person who had a five hour brain aneurysm last night trying to convince his audience that my hashtag Marilyn Manson innocence video is baseless propaganda, LOL. <laughs> Thanks for the free publicity. I guess that's why views on the video suddenly picked up. Hashtag Amber Heard 2.0. I'm not Amber Heard 2.0, right? She's not saying that, right? I had a, I had a brain aneurysm? Brain aneurysm, yeah. What exactly was so much of a brain aneurysm about the whole co It was like a conversation. I don't think it was anything more than that, but... I don't think I suffered a brain aneurysm. Basically, my goal was to encourage people to view things subjectively because I felt like the pendulum was swinging so hard from like, boom, suddenly it's like, all oh, women are liars, you know, ever since Johnny Depp, whoosh, that's, that's just how I felt. And if you guys even recall, like, we had several callers that simply stood for Manson without even caring for his music or who he is, but because of a cultural sort of wave. So like, you know, I, I think it's more important to like look into the information instead of just, you know, listening and saying, hey, Edwin, watch this video. Well, you know, I did watch it and we watched it together and I had things to say. But I think it's important to note that we also did talk to a few people and we did have, um, you know, either side of the pendulum speaking about that we also had like we had alleged victims and we also had people that felt strongly about um supporting someone that hadn't yet um been convicted of anything that's yeah considered a crime. you guys know i'm so, always down for that yeah it's it's not like we were um going into it saying that you know that the whole thing it was baseless but and, and, yeah exactly is, because is to be propaganda. that's actually really important to point out a detail from this tweet besides me having a brain aneurysm i mean I guess maybe that's your opinion. I don't think I had one. Am I okay? Um, I also wasn't trying to convince people that your video was baseless. I, w I was trying to convince them that it was propaganda. I never said it was baseless. Yeah. I represented your video for what it was. You had interviews, you know, you did look into stuff. So mm -hmm. it's not like your propaganda is baseless. I don't leave my streams up on the weekends because I go for too long and, you know, I don't want like long ass like streams on my channel, right? She's tweeting out that it's like, you know, it's available to members only. I don't really understand. She didn't put a caption, right? So I, I would say that like, w what's, what's the fill in the blank here that like, you have to pay to listen to my opinion. I mean, I guess if you care that much, I personally don't think these live streams are so important that everybody has to see them. You know, I tend to think that this is like a way to connect with people like in, in real time. And mm -hmm. when I feel like there's something clip worthy, I edit it down and, you know, I repost it to the channel, which is what I will do. It's just like, it's been a busy week with all the streaming and uh, that was a long stream. So I will post it. I just don't know what, what to make of this, to be honest. He's a pretty huge YouTuber. Why does he only have 44,000 subscribers? Am I missing something? <laughs> yeah, my other channel, I guess. The okay, channel, yeah. but I'm not huge, guys. I mean, I'm, I guess it's when I when it counts, I can be here. Okay, sorry. Anyways, it wasn't until I saw that she made a video. She made a video addressing me. Mm. And that's when I was like, okay, I guess I'll reply. I said, it's me, the Edwin person, it me, you know? <laughs> and I actually noticed that she was following me. So I was like, okay, I'll follow you back. So, you know, we're currently mutuals here, but um, she didn't reply to my, it me, the Edwin person. And you know, this is already two days ago. So I don't know why w w she makes a video addressing, but she doesn't want to re respond here. <laughs> Uh, Samella and Manson follow us here on Twitter as well. We're currently in the limbo stage, guys. We're currently in the limbo stage. But I just want to make it clear, though, guys. And this is something I said on the other stream. Like, I'm not rushing to have any debate or interview or whatever. That's not really the objective. Like, the, the entire objective of the last stream from last weekend was to just encourage you guys to look at things from a critical eye, you know? And I was showing the other perspective because I, I felt like it was propaganda. And again, I'm not going to... 
regurgitate everything I said in the last week because it was obviously long. But when you see my my video edited down, you know, you can criticize it or whatever if you weren't there. But mm -hmm. um, basically, we're going to go over Colonel Kurtz's video about me. But um, okay. actually, I want to show you guys a thumbnail. It says, slammed for speaking out against Amber Heard, Evan, and other Me Too liars. And I don't I'm know in the West such an old photo of you. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's an old photo of me. I don't know what to make of this title, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. <sighs> Did you uh, even really mention Amber Heard and that sort of stuff? I think you like maybe like made one sort of comparison I, to say that there, there my wasn't criticism a comparison. Was that, well, I was <laughs> trying to say that I didn't like Amber Heard being brought up as much in a video about Marilyn Manson. You know, that's yeah. what I was saying. But it's not really, I didn't slam I her for speaking out against Amber Heard, that's for sure. Yeah, and then she puts you on the thumbnail that has them that heard like bright yellow letters with a red background. Like, yeah, you know, I'm not relevant like, to that. Anyways, let me make sure it's on the screen properly. Do, 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 do. By the way, chat, do you guys think I should leave the chat on the screen like it is now? Or should I make it smaller? What do you, how do you guys feel about that? Because obviously if I edit it too, like I don't know if people would prefer the chat being on there. Let me know what you guys think here. And also, do you guys like when I play lo-fi music in the background? All right. Before we get into this, I want to get this survey out. Yeah, let's get the aesthetics out of the way first. We'll watch your video in 1.25x, by the way. Yes, play lo-fi. Play some EDM. That's too distracting. 5% on the music, guys. Hopefully it's not bothering anybody. Okay, I just put myself in the in the shoes of the viewer. And I'm thinking I would rather if I had a choice to see an edited stream like down with cut out the the weird like not weird but like you know the pointless parts where i'm like okay let me turn down the lo-fi music okay hey chat do you when i'm not in there when i when someone's addressing the chat and i'm not in the chat why would i want that right so that's why i take down the streams and edit it down that's just my my the reason by the way i feel like i always have to explain i always have to explain why i don't leave my streams up <laughs> okay this video is basically mostly about ella dawson and me which i don't know who this woman ella dawson is but you know she's probably it's probably, I would say it's like 60 or 70% more about her than then some parts about me. Look, I have had people accuse me online of being uh, biased. I don't think that they know what that word means. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I've not checked out Edwin's generation, his uh, multi-hour brain aneurysm. No, I'm kidding. But his multi-hour live stream, apparently. I haven't actually. Okay, so she was kidding when she said I had a brain aneurysm. Okay, guys, it was just a joke. Actually seen it, so it could have been, as far as I know, he was very calm and collected. Oh, and also, just take note of that. I've not checked out Edwin's generation, his uh, multi-hour brain aneurysm. No, I'm kidding. But his multi-hour live stream, apparently. I haven't actually seen it, so it could have been... As far as I know, he was very calm and collected. <laughs> so she hasn't seen it. This is already, like, kind of an issue. Because it's like... She's about to dedicate quite a bit of time to responding to something that she's not seen yet. So... Yeah. I guess she's putting this up right here as a sort of excuse as to why she's not seeing it. But I mean, this is literally a Twitch stream. This has 200 views. That means like throughout the entire stream, only two people, 200 people came throughout or whatever. It's not that one. My Twitch is small. My Twitch is baby. She's not seen my stream. And also, I was calm and collected for some of it. But honestly, look, I'll, I'll be straight up. I, some parts I, I got like, oh, nah. <laughs> but I should, I should clarify that like I... It wasn't anything to do with with Colonel Kurtz as a person. It's more so like more so frustration that like of just how it feels like there's only one side and like one side shall rule kind of thing, you know. I don't know. I explained in the video. I'm That's the way it was presented to me is everyone's freaking out. So I actually don't know if you were freaking out then or not. So uh so here we we're, we're learning that she's relying on other people's words. So people right. went back there and they're like Hey, Edwin did a live stream about you and he had a brain aneurysm. Sorry, she did say she was kidding though as soon as she said that. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because it's not her opinion, you know, like as far as she knows, that could have been cool. But like, yeah, so she, she's presenting that like everything she's stating is based off of other people's opinions. So wouldn't that be hearsay? Wouldn't that be what she stands against in the whole Johnny Depp stuff? What, we listening to rumors now? Okay. We're going to put my name to shame over that? <laughs> Let's go. But I know that Edwin was accusing me of being biased. I don't think you know what that word means. Biased does not mean opinionated, okay? I have been, Edwin, I have been studying this, and I, and I know that word sounds sort of pretentious, but I'm serious. I have been studying this, this situation, since the first week it broke in February 2021. It's almost a year and a half now. And so you're, and I've, I've made over 60 videos. I've interviewed all kinds of people. I've interviewed a lot of people that I haven't even put on my channel. You're telling me that by this point I should not have an opinion? If, if you no, I'm not. I never, I don't think I ever said any of that. Uh, I, this is not anything I, nope, none of this I've said. This is what I mean. 
she, she's making an assumption of how I felt or what I said, because this is nothing what I said. I mean, I look, I called I called her channel propaganda, which, you know, you could say is biased. Sure. Just to be clear, what I'm trying to respond to here is that I think she's well allowed to have her opinion. And, you know, especially if she interviewed people, I completely understand why. My bigger criticism, if you guys remember that live stream and, you know, you'll see when I post the edited version is uh, she should vet her her interviewees better. You know, because I saw that some said some things that could be proving to be not correct or they just didn't provide receipts like she would demand of Evan Rachel Wood, etc. You know what I mean? But yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of what I want to respond to, because I never said that she's not allowed to have an opinion. Everybody's allowed to have an opinion. I literally had people call in with different opinions. I'm happy to hear it. You're telling me that by this point, I should not have an opinion. If, if you clearly have an opinion and you've studied it much less than I have. I study it much less than I have. Sure, mm -hmm. you could say that. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I, I studied it a lot, but not for the last year, so that's fair. Yeah, you haven't put 60 and videos out, I know, that's for sure. Uh -huh. So bias doesn't mean opinionated, okay? Bias means to, to be biased is to have prejudged, okay? And I did not pre- Bias means prejudged? Like, I never heard that. Is that what bias means when you have make a prejudgment on something? It's make a, like have an opinion that's closed-minded and prejudiced, but thing is you didn't even say biased so That's, this whole thing is i don't i don't think bias no, like, is prejudged i guess you know i could be wrong but i didn't i don't know that it means prejudging does she speak to mostly pro-manson people or is she spoken to both yes. sides Exactly. Well, she spoke exactly. to man yeah. pro Manson people. That's why I believe that uh, you know it's kind of propaganda. I I never said bias, so it's like it's yeah. Hard. That's like, why I, I mean this whole situation. She keeps arguing this whole bias thing, but you never said bias. So the whole thing is invalid. Like I, I'm being made to defend happen. the claim that I never made, or if I made it, it may, I don't know. Like I don't know. It is a long stream, but it's like not really like a strong like, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Everybody's biased. Who cares? Like in my opinion, everybody's biased. Okay, like. What's the big deal? Like to yeah. say you're not biased would mean that you're perfectly objective and you have no no opinion, you know? So it doesn't really make sense. But hey, maybe I'm just tripping too much. Let's keep going. Bias means to, to be biased is to have prejudged. OK, and I did not prejudge. Do you know what? I actually thought before I looked into it, I thought that Marilyn Manson was probably guilty for the same reasons as other people. I thought, oh, there's a lot of women accusing him and look at all the freaky stuff that he said. And look at look at how he looks and et cetera, et cetera. Right. I'd seen Evan Rachel Wood crying before Congress. Honestly, I thought parts of that were a little bit strange, but I bought it. She's a good actress. And so you could say that you had a bias against him and I had a bias for him. I mean, I don't know. I guess we're tripping over the word bias. And so I and you know, this happened to me too. I remember when I did my uh, Melanie Martinez video, people were like, Edwin, you're biased. You're biased against him. I'm like, what, what do you mean? I mean, I, I you know, I, I kind of tripped over it a little bit, I remember. But it's like at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, well, you know what? Everybody is biased. Of course. Sure. That's his opinion on your video. Just like the, there is an opinion on Manson, but the thing is that we're not talking about opinions; we're talking about propaganda. Right, which, prop, you know, propaganda itself is bias. People could say, "Well, bias is similar to propaganda." I'm like, okay, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> like, doesn't matter. Like, who cares? Because okay, everybody's biased, but not everybody's propaganda. That's the difference, you know. And I think she's propaganda. <laughs> so okay, there we go. I didn't come into this biased uh, or, or prejudiced, and in fact. Quit being hung up. Hey, no, you know what, Jeremiah? Just because of that, I'm actually gonna talk about the bias thing for five more minutes. So, what else do you want to say? Okay, I'm kidding. No, for <laughs> real though, it's okay. We literally just finished the bias point, and you told me you had to be like, quit being hung up. Look at look what you're doing. This is your fault, Jeremiah. Chat. Now we're talking about bias long. We're talking about you now. See what happened? Okay, let's keep going. She's a good actress, and so I didn't come into this biased uh, or, or prejudiced. And in fact, if you will go back and look at my first video, I guess you've looked at it one. Sorry, sorry, but like, in my opinion, wh when you first thought that he was guilty because, you know, everything you saw automatically, you had a bias against him. You know, I would say that now, after everything you researched, you have a bias for him. I could be wrong. Maybe I sound dumb to people. That's how I learned it, at least, you know? And hey, English is my second language, so go easy on me, huh? I, I just don't think that someone, though, could look, could take an honest look at the research that I've done and the interviews that I've done and dismiss all of it, or could take an honest look but that's not what I did, you know? And, and this is the issue, like, she's responding blindly. She's just shooting darts in the dark and assuming this is what I did. I did not dismiss all her work. I, I, I'll say I'm impressed that she's able to get in touch with all these people, you know, because it's needed. I think it's needed not only to have people that are for Manson, but I believe there should be interviews with people that have spoken up against Manson. But right now, there isn't really that kind of environment 
that speaks in his favor. Everything you look up online, at least for the major part of videos on YouTube right now, 90%, maybe more will be for Manson. So like what I'm saying is she's responding to something that a point that I never made. I, I did not, because if you watch my stream, the nine hour one, right? If you were to watch the nine hours, okay, or you just wait till I upload the edited version. I actually give her points for some of her points. I'm like, okay, you know what? That makes sense. You know, there was a few points where I was like, no, that makes sense. I don't dismiss everything she said. So this is, this is, this is like, this is awkward, but like she's painting me in this way, which I just think it's so ironic because it's supposed to be everything she stands against, you know, <laughs> like you, you're, you're literally bragging about how you do your research while making a point with no research. research yeah <laughs> this is kind of it's kind of awkward you know it's kind of awkward but uh, let's go yeah. all of the points all of the counterpoints that i've raised and not only that i've raised but a number of people who have spent just as long on this as i have um, the website marilyn manson uncancelled stand by your manson on uh, instagram and so and and various other youtubers who've looked into this and so I, I just think that it's very it's very biased of you it's very disingenuous of you to just dismiss out of hand what i presented as just kind of the ravings of a of a man but I didn't see this, this is so awkward, but like, you know, this is how she's presenting me to her audience. And it's just like, I, I'm disingenuous for dismissing everything she said, but that's just not how it went, you know, but it's, it's just, it's awkward. It's like everything that's being thrown at me is like inaccurate. So it's kind of just, it's just awkward for me to sit here and be like, okay, I'm disingenuous and biased. I mean, you could say I'm biased. Of course I have my, my own leanings and you know, I combated many of your points but there was a few points when i was like you know no, that that makes sense so it's just so far it's just a little bit awkward for me to watch bad woman here um no i or if someone who is just so blinded by bias i can't see the truth i have looked at the other side i've seen phoenix so so now i'm blinded by bias she's saying no you <laughs> she's saying no, no even you though, even though i never <laughs> said that in the first place or if i did you know then it wasn't really something that i focused on it's rising like three times now. And that's the thing that I find oftentimes is that it's the people who accuse me of not knowing what I'm talking about or being poorly informed or being biased. It's, it's those people who actually show signs of themselves not being very well informed. This is so crazy, ironic. She's saying mm. people that accuse her of being poorly informed, which I did not do, are the people that are uninformed, which how do you know that if you literally admitted to not watching my live stream? How do you know? How do you know? Because even even without the live stream, even if you just go to like your your main channel and watch those Manson videos, everything you presented had um, actual receipts. Exactly. It wasn't you like you were just going off and just saying your own thing according to your own opinion. You actually had stuff there to back up what you were saying. Thank so you. I don't exactly. Know what you're I mean, about. you know, and 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 hey, hey Colonel Courts, if you're watching, like I, I know, like Eva's backing me up. Sure, okay, like I'm. <laughs> I don't hire someone to just back me up. I don't know what kind of judgments are going to come back in the criticism, right, or whatever. Uh, but look, she's got a point. If you go watch my Marilyn Manson video, which I made before Evan Rachel Wood even spoke out back in 2020, uh, December, every point that I had made was backed up in research and I put it on the screen everything, all right? So like, if you just watch that, you would know that I, I'm at least somewhat informed, but like, now you're criticizing me off of something that like, uh, assumed. You would just assume that I'm uninformed. Anyways, yeah, yeah she's, she's uninformed saying that you're uninformed. Right. Oh, oof. it's so awkward. Yeah. Apparently, one of the things that Edwin was complaining about is that I was repeating the things in, in Marilyn Manson's lawsuit as if they were truth. Well, on the one hand, I would say I don't see Edwin how that's worse than you repeating the unsubstantiated assertions of Evan Rachel Wood as truth that you and the others do in regard to. So, do you guys catch that? She's. No. She's. Uh... <laughs> That is actually something that I did say in my live stream. That is the the one thing in her video that I did actually say. And it was a big thing that I probably repeated throughout my live stream. That I felt that she took everything that was in Marilyn Manson's lawsuit as fact, you know, as, as like a truth. And I feel like, well, you, you need to understand everything in this lawsuit is an allegation. Like, it doesn't mean that it's true. Anybody could file a lawsuit against anybody, file a claim, a legal claim. It doesn't make it fact, you know. That was my mm -hmm. point throughout my, uh, my live stream. And... She's rebutting me by saying, well, how about you? You take everything that Evan Rachel Wood says as a fact. And um, this is so this is so unfortunate because if she had actually watched my live stream or, or like responded to points that I've actually made, she would have heard me say that I'm very critical of Evan Rachel Wood in, in like uh, in, in the, the documentary. I literally said it throughout my live stream that like it wasn't the best documentary. Like it was you know kind of boring Dang. at times I criticized. Like this is something that it's like, 
like, I've been, I'm open about, you know, and I'm, I get it. Like, she obviously didn't watch it, didn't hear me say this, but now she's just assuming that Edwin and others say that they're repeating her unsubstantiated yeah. assertions. And here's the thing, I'm, when I repeat them, if I read out a, an allegation from one of the accusers, I don't say it as fact. In fact, later on in the stream, throughout, like if you were there throughout the nine hour long stream, we had um, a girl that called in who made claims against Marilyn Manson. And I said, I made it very much emphasis throughout when she was calling in that these are allegations. We don't know if it's true, you know? It's a little uncomfortable to do when someone's calling in, of course, but we have to be careful. We have to acknowledge, guys, that this is very much an allegation. I'm not saying it's not true or it is true. I'm just saying, like, it's loaded. I might be able to help you, but you have to come through with some actual, like, you know, stuff. So, like, it's unfortunate that she's painting me in this light, like, I regurgitate unsubstantiated like that's what you're doing this is so weird it's such a weird attack on me uh, yes i know you huh phoenix rising in her allegations but i will say uh edwin it's be the things that i talk about are the things that actually marilyn manson's team provided like actual evidence of like for instance the forged fbi letter that evan rachel wood and her co-conspirator girlfriend at the time uh the, the fbi letter that they forged manson's team they actually provided the letter and you know what here's the thing <laughs> If you watch my stream, first of all, I, I'm critical in that, how do we know it's forged? It's because the, the claim is saying, okay. She even acknowledges that Marilyn Manson's team verified it. Okay, that's all we have, so we have to go off their word. Yeah, that's what I criticize. But this is the funnier part when she says this. Okay, check this out. But even if they hadn't provided the letter, guess what? Because I've researched the case, I also know that Evan Rachel Wood included that same forged letter in her court filings with the, for the custody dispute that's been ongoing with the father of her child, James exactly okay and look i don't know how many people in the chat right now were at my stream okay but this is a specific point the one thing she focuses on against me is the one thing that i said you know what she's got a point here like this is not look good for evan rachel wood like that's what i said and and she's saying edwin actually researched this yeah me too i remember that daily mail article i remember seeing that yeah and i brought it up in my live stream so it's so awkward that she's like accusing me of of like you know this this is so strange dude <laughs> guys yeah. if you ever respond to somebody make sure you respond to what they actually say because this just feels foolish like i'm responding to like you know like i'm literally on your side on this one is all i'm trying to say colonel course this is just whack like bro okay. amy bell who also doesn't believe her stories about manson anyway i would have known to i'll just go ahead and insert the clip from my stream maybe they're fighting for their kid and he's like what you're, you're ridiculous our kid is not in danger give him to me like you know so it's a legal battle and yeah i would say actually i would say that the that does not look on a good on evan's side we have gone there and because also you can get the fbi letter there in those family court filings right so actually edwin as it turns out there are a number of things asserted in marilyn manson's lawsuit and that's not the only one that we have evidence of one of those things that you would know if you had actually given more attention to this case than but why are you condescending me when it literally was on your point? This is so silly. Like, bro, you would know. Yeah, you, you could have messaged me, you know? I know I didn't follow you until after I posted this video, but I do have my DMs open. And, like, you know, you could have tried it to verify your points that you assuming that I made that I did not. I don't know. It just feels awkward to, like, respond to assumptions about me. What I guess you have up to this point, or you approached it with a genuinely open mind, as I did. Uh, okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Now, yeah. I said earlier on in my program that Amber Heard is not an, an anomaly. Okay, um, that is basically it. There's one last part where she, you know, says, hear me out, basically. So let's see. And so I hope that my critics, uh, if you're listening to this, uh, Ella Dawson or Edwin or Camilla and some of the others, uh, I hope that you will take to heart what I'm trying to say to you. Because do I seem like some raving lunatic? I'm not like the crazy girl in The Exorcist, all right? I'm not just like, you know, I'm not just projectile vomiting uh, nonsense onto you. I'm actually thinking about these things. I'm I mean, objectively speaking, some of the stuff you said about me was kind of nonsense because it wasn't really, you know, it, it's not really what I said. So you just kind of made assumptions. So that's kind of the, it's kind of the issue here. Anyways, that's pretty much the response. Yeah, it's, it's just awkward, you know? Everything that she said about me was an assumption. Except for the one thing, which was that I did say that she took everything from the lawsuit as fact. That is the one thing she said about me that was actually accurate. Otherwise, everything she said about me was just fluff and inaccurate. But anyways, if she didn't watch the stream, why did she make the video? That is a good question. I don't know. If she wanted to watch my nine hour stream, geez, I don't know why you'd want to. Like she could have sent me a message. I would have sent it to her for free. Like, you know, I could have done that. But like, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm editing it. I'm working on it. It'll be up and then she could 
responded to it properly. But like, you know, I guess if you're new to my channel, you know, I don't blame you for not realizing this, but I don't leave my long ass streams on the channel. I shorten them up if I think it's worth it and I repost, which this one, of course, is worth it. Don't worry, you'll see it cut down. I feel like I could probably, it would probably take me faster to cut this part than the actual video that morning, you know, from the other streams. So I could probably post this and be like, hey, you should watch it. I guess I'll just close it out with one last statement for this part of the video. Colonel Kurtz, I don't think you're a raving lunatic, okay? I, I, I'm hearing you out. And you'll see when I post the edit of this, this long stream that um, I, I was just reviewing your your video that, you know, that was supposed to bring up this, all the evidence. And I mean, I'm critical of it, okay? I've, yes. I guess if there was one final thing to say is, I hope you check out the video when it's up. And hey, now we're mutuals on Twitter. So where's the ball? Is it in my court or your court? I don't know. I hope I didn't offend you. There was never the the objective, really. I mean... She's offended by what people have reported back to her. Yeah, which I get it. I get it. Great yeah, I don't really have myself <laughs> to say. If you're watching this video, whether you're Colonel Kurtz or not, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If, especially, actually, you know what? Especially if you're Colonel Kurtz. Look, you know, I know you're very anti, anti Amber Heard. Check this out. Look, you can even go to my channel. I have a video right here against Amber Heard. A video here against Amber Heard, okay? And yeah, I have another video. Where is it? I, I'm debating an angry Amber Heard supporter that couldn't stop screaming. Oh, God. We could see eye to eye somewhere here, Colonel Kurtz, okay? I'm just saying, like, hey, you shouldn't make so many assumptions about me. Hey, you followed me, but you, wh what's next? <laughs> okay, now I'm getting goofy. You guys should stream together or something? I, I, look, I am open to streaming, but, like, that, that is something else that I'll say. Actually, you know what? I'll address this, too. Someone in my chat said you should stream together or something. And, you know, a few commenters have actually said the same sentiment. And here's where I stand, because obviously, like, I'm not going to, like, pressure her or whatever. Like, I'm not rushing for this. I'm not opposed to this, though, because this is the rule that I have. Like, when when I make content on somebody, I'm not going to be like a coward and be like, oh, no, I'm not going to talk to you if like they want to talk. OK, I'm open for it, you know, whether it's a positive video or negative video that I do about them. I think it only makes sense to hear them out and, you know, be more open minded. I've always been about that. It's just like right now where I stand, like she does have a point in that she's been re she's been researching and, you know, covering this topic for a lot longer than I have. Like I researched this and, you know, looked into this intensive extensively from like October to like February of like 2020 to 2021. And she started, she says, of 2021 till now. So obviously that's more time than me. So, you know, I have limited information on, on certain things. So, I mean, and that, then again, we shouldn't be having like a full on debate. Like I wouldn't even want that anyway. So maybe we could do like more conversations in the future. But obviously, like I was actually able to refute quite a few points. But like if you do watch my live stream, there was a few points where I was like, I'm not aware of this part. So I can't give a proper like rebuttal or response, you know. But like, I think I am decently educated. However, it's just not in my priorities for me to reach out. However, if she wants to talk, I'm not gonna turn her down, you know? But like right now, in, in this point in time, like I have like a lot of streaming topics to go over and I really wanna do the D videos on my Edwin's Generation channel. So that's like, yes, you know, yes, I feel like please. for me to do it, honestly, I just kind of wanted to get uh, go through her video. So there was like another perspective on YouTube because right now it wasn't really about her personally. I don't have any issues with her personally. Like I'm not like, oh, Colonel Kurtz, I get it. I get it. There's going to be there's going to be videos for one side and I just don't see any for the other side. And I'm just trying to provide more um, critical thinking. I'm trying to encourage that. So like I don't want it to be like a I mean, if it turns into that's going to be oh, maybe it could be stressful, but I don't want it to be like a YouTuber versus YouTuber, you know, essentially what my goal is is to like encourage people to think critically. There's gotta be more critical thinking. Like I get it. When there's only one message out there, I get it. I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but yeah. Unbiased okay. is for journalists and not even those can provide that. So hey, unbiasedness is gone. <laughs> no, I mean like unbiasedness would be just providing the facts, you know? Like that article we looked at earlier, New York Post, this is not journalism. This is saying lusty Elon Musk dad. That's not, that's bias. There's a bias there, you know? like. And it's and it's fine but like if she's describing evan rachel wood as like a liar that's you have a bias against her this is i don't know if i'm wrong but like i feel like i'm right <laughs> like that's a bias <laughs>